It will be recalled that Zamfara State government has since in October 2023 suspended the operational licenses of all the private schools operating in the state as a bold step to address some perceived irregularities in their operations. Accordingly, the State Commissioner of Education, Science and Technology, Malimora Toma Doaki, recently inaugurated a screening committee to undertake the regularization exercise of the private schools in the state. The committee comprising some notable retired and serving educationists as well as quality assurance officers from the federal and state levels has since hit the ground running and they have commenced assessment visit to the schools, especially those operating in the state capital, Guso. The screening team is split into various components of the assessment exercise, which largely centered on conducive atmosphere for teaching and learning, strength and quality of teachers and the teaching aids. Other criteria include security, toilet and sporting facilities, among other things. With this exercise, they will be able to switch out those who are supposed to be operating as private school and those who are not supposed to be. So that we get the standard standardization of schools in the state. Uh, it's a welcome development in Zamfara State, uh, trying to bring life to education. We are happy and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to strengthen the governor and the honorable commissioner. And I really commend their effort because uh, this well encourages school to step up in all their activities and do the right things. Heads and other officials of the schools visited conducted the screening committee around their respective schools and they also responded to questions related to the outlined criteria. The Chairman National Association of Private Schools Proprietors of Forest State Chapter Dr. Abdullah Hitukur commended the Forest State Government for the initiative. So we want to call on our members to cooperate with the state government in that direction. And we equally want to call on the st uh, state government also to consider the effort of the proprietors in the provision of basic and secondary education in Zamfara State. Chairman of the committee, Alejasani Melafi Amada, said adequate arrangements have been made to cover every nook and cranny of the state as he promised that the committee will not compromise in the discharge of its mandate. We have the national policy on education that prescribe minimum standards needed to operate a private school. Those that could not meet up with more than 70% of the criteria, for example, then we will advise them to shut down until they are able to uh, meet um, uh, the minimum standards. The committee is expected to submit its report within three weeks. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.